Hello and welcome back to Everything Tumblr Tutorials. My name is Rebecca Escott and I am a Tumblr creator. And in this video today, I'm going to show you how you can use opaque and transparent vinyls on a raw stainless steel tumbler. So let's get started. So I received my subscription box from January from Banff Custom Creations, but designed by Kelly Norris from Dixie Darlings. And let me tell you, I am seriously obsessed with each and every single one of these vinyls. So I was trying to figure out a plan on how I can use most of what I actually received. We're going to start off by using the Cowgirl Up Buttercup, which is an opaque vinyl. This was the primary focal point of the tumbler. Then I used Cowgirl Floral, Western Leopard, Western Stripes, and the Double Mint Cow Foil from Southern Bell Glitter. Not to worry, I will have the link for all of these vinyls down in the description for you guys below. When placing your vinyl, you really just want to make sure that you don't have any air pockets and wrinkles. So take your time when working it around the tumbler. I also cut this in a width that obviously measures the circumference of the tumbler, but it also gives me about a quarter of an overlap. I did not trim the seam on this tumbler. So once our primary vinyl has been applied, it's time to go ahead and move in on the stripes. Each stripe was cut at a quarter of an inch so that I'd have enough room for all five of my stripes. As you'll notice again, this is a transparent vinyl, but you can really see the design, but where it's clear, you can really see that stainless steel coming through. I don't know about you guys, but I absolutely love the stainless steel coming through. Be mindful though, you're not gonna wanna sand because you will see those sand marks underneath that vinyl. So it's super important to not sand. I know you guys don't hear that every day, but trust me when I tell you, it's going to be okay if you don't sand. For this tumbler, I really just wanted to give it somewhat of a rustic appearance, and I feel like that stainless steel really pulled it off and gave me the desired look that I was looking for. After each placement of the stripes, I then went ahead and followed the same seam line as the primary vinyl. So when we met up in the back, I went ahead and just used my X-Acto knife to trim it up so that everything was gonna be nice and straight right here in the back. You may have noticed that I'm using two transparent vinyls on the two top stripes, the opaque, which matches the top primary vinyl, and then two more transparent vinyls here at the bottom. Once all your vinyl has been placed, we can now move in to the secondary stripes. For my secondary stripes, I'm going to be using the gold textured Tech Wrap Craft Vinyl. Remember, all of these links will be down in the description for you guys below. I always like to use my Cricut to cut my secondary stripes. The sizing of these secondary stripes were 0 0.08 in width and about 11 in length because you'll notice that I always like to overlap my secondary stripes over each other. As I have noticed over time, I have a lot less lifting going on. So now that I'm gonna have all of my stripes on the tumbler, we're ready to move on to the next step. Okay, so once all of the vinyl and the stripes were completed, we were able to go ahead and start dressing this bottom. Now you'll notice, hopefully, that I have sanded it because I removed that little um, silver sticky piece of whatever that protects that bottom end off. I needed to sand down some of that aggressive adhesive before applying my tacket to apply the Double Mint Cow, which is from Southern Bell Glitter, here at the bottom. I really wanted to use that foil and what better way than to really dress up this butt. So it looks so good. It was so easy to apply. And for one, I'm a huge fan of knowing which side is up and which side is down. So wherever you see, I think it's a gray backing. It's a, um, obviously not the design. You want to place that face down over the tacket. 
So once I have the tacket here, you'll see that I'm trying to clean up those edges because I really wanted it at the bottom. Then I'm just gonna heat it up for a couple of seconds, super quick because it was a super thin layer. And then we're going to apply with the design up on the bottom end of that tumbler. I rubbed this in for quite a while because I really wanted to make sure that I was going to get into those divots and grooves so the whole bottom end was nice and covered with the foil. So once I was pretty sure I had full solid coverage here at the bottom, I will then remove the excess foil and the design is revealed. Like I was in awe, like I absolutely freaking love and it was meant not to be perfect. So don't come at me sideways in the comments. It was meant to just stay at that very bottom. So moving on to finally our very first coat of epoxy, I am going to be adding in Glorious, which is a glorious glitter additive from AB Designs into my epoxy. You always want to start with small amounts to start so that it doesn't overwhelm your tumbler unless that is your end goal. For me, I just really wanted to bring in some extra sparkle because at this point, this glitter hat, this tumbler didn't have any glitter. None of this tumbler needed to be sealed. It did not need to have a quick coat of any kind. This tumbler was ready for this coat of epoxy. I am using Fast Set from Counterculture DIY for this first coat. And as always, when you are happy with your epoxy coverage, make sure you hit it with your heat torch to pop any bubbles you may or may not be able to see. That is all for this tutorial. I do hope that you guys enjoyed it. I hope that I've inspired you on how you can use some transparent vinyls on a raw stainless steel tumbler. She is an absolute, absolute beauty. Thank you so much, Banff Custom Creations and Kelly Norris for a fabulous cowgirl design. This tumbler did only require one more coat of epoxy and she was fully completed. Until next time, bye.